up you guys it is taylor and today i have a very exciting video for you guys today i'm really really excited about this one i never thought i would make this video because i was just like i don't know if i could talk about many people that i haven't seen in concert because i feel like i've just seen so many people in concert and then i started writing down names and i'm like wow there's a lot of people that i still haven't seen yet so that is today's video i'm going to be talking about people that i haven't seen in concert or i have seen them but i saw them for like a little bit or i didn't see them because of covid so i really hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already my name is taylor and let's hop in to this video but before i get into this video I just want to say I feel like I've not made a YouTube video in a very, very, very long time. I've just been like down the shore and working and things like that and I cannot believe that the summer is almost over. It's kind of stressing me out because then, you know, school time and I don't want to go back to school at all. I have no motivation for that. But anyways, um, let's get on into this video because I have a lot of people to talk about. And you guys are probably like, Taylor, you've seen like R5 and Before Eggs and stuff. Are you going to talk about those people? No, I'm not because I've seen those people before and you guys already know about it. So I'm going to talk about people that I haven't seen before. So we're just going to get started. So the first people I'm going to talk about are the Somerset. I absolutely love the Somerset. Their songs are super upbeat and fun. I don't think they have like one like sad song at least not that I could think of. I mean, some of their songs are kind of deep, but they're not, like, sad. But I love the Somerset. Um, they're just such amazing people. And they actually, like, came back, like, late last year because they did break up for a while. I really don't know why and, and or uh, remember, but I love the Somerset. They're just great. And their songs are super uppy and fun. I listen to them all the time. They definitely remind me of summertime. And I know that they were playing Sad Summerfest this year. Um, I think they're coming to Philly at some point. I really don't know when. But I'm not going because I think I'll be down the or something but I love the Somerset and I would absolutely love to see them live actually the day that I saw Sim Rally 2016 that's the day that, that they came to Philly and uh, yeah they just haven't really done a tour since so hopefully they do a solo tour some point next year or even later this year uh, because I would love to see them because they're great and I just love a lot of their songs so Somerset do a solo tour please next one I'm gonna go on a small rant about this one um if big time rush is coming to your city just go because i didn't go and they came near me three times they came to philly atlantic city and hershey pa i didn't go to one of them because of money and i wanted to save my money for why don't we and why don't we not even going on a tour now because of their lawsuit thing so if big time rush is coming near you just go because you're gonna regret it like I did and now I'm gonna have to wait till next tour and who knows if they're even gonna come to Philly so yeah I regret this one a lot I don't even want to talk about it um I've wanted to see Big Time Rush since I was probably like 10 years old and I just never go and I need to go next time because I really regret it of all the videos that I keep seeing on TikTok so yeah Big Time Rush is gonna do you just go that's all I have to say okay <laughs> next one is a small artist and that is Lexi Jade. You guys have heard me talk about her before. I think I talked about her in my favorite small artist video uh, because I like a lot of small artists because I like to find people before they get really big. So I really love Lexi Jade. I love a lot of her songs. I wish I would have had her music in high school but it's fine. It's fine. It's better like to it's better like than never to listen to somebody but I love a lot of her music and I just really really love her and I would just love to see her live and I know that she went on tour with somebody a couple months ago out. I don't remember who the artist was uh, but I didn't go see her because I think I had something going on so hopefully she does a solo tour later this year or next year because I want to see her really really bad and I love her she's like my comments on TikTok before and I think Instagram too but yeah love her she's great next one is Sabrina Carpenter so <laughs> saw Sabrina Carpenter at the show this summer in 2015 and have not seen her since uh, because I kind of got on and off with Sabrina Carpenter. Her first album is my favorite. Her second album took me a while to get into and then she just kept like putting out a lot of stuff and I just really haven't seen her since and obviously because of COVID and everything and nobody was really going on tour and stuff like that but I love Sabrina Carpenter. She's great. I love a lot of her music. I just listened to her recent album today, Emails I Can't Send, which came out uh, a couple days ago as I'm making this video and oh my god it was so good. <laughs> There's so many songs that I like. Like, I'm so excited I have something new uh, to listen to. But yeah, I love Sabrina Carpenter. She's great. And I would love to see her again because it's been so long since I saw her when, you know, she like just started in like 2015 or something. So yeah, I love 
Sabrina Carpenter. She's great. And hopefully she does a tour at some point later this year or next year. You never know. Anyways, next people I'm going to talk about. I have seen these people before, but I have a reason why I want to see them again. And that is the Jonas Brothers. I saw the Jonas Brothers when I was in like first grade and I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> Which is absolutely horrible, but I love the Jones Brothers. I love a lot of their songs. All their songs are super poppy and fun, and they've been singing. Uh, well, I, I don't know about this past tour. I think the tour that they did in 2019 when they uh, made their like big return, they were singing Camp Rock songs, and Camp Rock is my second favorite movie ever. My first is Sykes Musical, <laughs> uh, but I love Camp Rock. It's one of my favorite movies, and I just wish I would have heard Gotta Find You Live because that just would have been great. But yeah, I love the Jonas Brothers. I would love to see them again. And hopefully when they come to Philly next time, I will be there. Because I think I need to be there. Because I like a lot of their songs. And I don't know why I didn't go when they came near me. Probably because I didn't have money or something. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Next one is Louis Tomlinson, who was in One Direction. I did see One Direction a couple years ago. I think like in 2012 or something. Wow, that feels like 10 years ago. But anyways, I love Louis Tomlinson. He's great. His uh, album Walls is one of my favorite albums ever. I love that a lot throughout my senior year of high school. What I had of it, obviously because of COVID. Uh, but yeah, I love Louis Tomlinson. He's great. And he just seems like such like a nice guy. And I would just love to see him live. I think he did come near me in February or something. And I don't know why. I wasn't there. Maybe I had work or something. I don't know. But I love Louis Thompson. He's great. And I would just love to see him because he's amazing. Okay. Next person. Um, This one also kind of bothers me. Kind of like the Big Time Rush thing. But this is a little bit different. And that is Nash. Uh, he came near me in 2019. And I think I had something going on. I think I had like my cousin's wedding. Which obviously that was way more important than like a concert. But like I <laughs> to go so bad his album we definitely got me through a lot junior year of high school and i just love that album it's amazing and i love nash he's just great and i would love to see him live so hopefully he goes on a tour some point later this year or next year because i think i need to see him and i would probably cry a lot because his songs are really deep and emotional but i really like a lot of his songs because they definitely have a really good uh meaning towards it like if i heard t-shirt live i think i would lose my mind uh because i really really love that song so yeah Nash he's great I would love to see him okay next person I was supposed to see but didn't because of COVID and that is Melanie Martinez I've been a fan of Melanie Martinez since like middle school and I still have not seen her live which is absolutely horrible uh, but obviously you can't control what goes on in the world but yeah I want to see her live so bad and I just love her and her albums Cry Baby and K-12 are just my favorite I love her albums because they always tell like a story I'm not crazy about like her singles or EPs or anything like that I just like her albums because they tell a really cool story but yeah I love Melanie Martinez she's great and hopefully she reschedules her tour because I want to see her so bad I don't think anybody understands how much I want to see Melanie Martinez okay and the last person that I'm going to talk about that I feel like I need to see a concert and that is Taylor Swift. I feel like everybody at some point sees Taylor Swift and says that she is just amazing and I feel like I need to go see her when she goes on a tour whenever she announces it because I feel like I've been wanting to see her for a couple of years now because I really like a lot of her songs. I know she has so many like deep cuts and you know songs that are really like underrated and stuff like that but I definitely just need to go see her because I like a lot of her music and her album Red is one of my favorites and I love you know the you know she's re-recording a lot of her albums so I think that that's like really cool and yeah I just feel like I need to go see her so bad and I just got really into her music in like in the last like year because she like re-recorded Red and Fearless so yeah I absolutely love her and she's great so hopefully I will be able to go see her soon but yeah those are people that I need to see in concert. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to talk about people that I've seen live before and you're kind of thinking about seeing them and you're not really sure, give this video a huge thumbs up and I will definitely do that. I love you all so much. Make sure you all subscribe to my channel if you have not already. My name is Taylor and I'll see you all next week. All right, bye guys.